Aquarius, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be looking at your energies for the month of May 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. In this video, I'll look at each of your weeks in this month. Okay, so we will start by Oracle cards for every week and then we will take it over by the tarot cards. All right, so let's get started with your reading now. So what's coming up for my Sagittarius for the month of May 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. What's coming up for my Sagittarius, please? And uh, this is going to be a general reading. It may or may not resonate with all of you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Let's get started for my Sagittarius. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, you can go to my Instagram page by the name The Magical Aura. The link is given in the description box below. So you can DM me over there if you want. Okay, so focus on success is in your first week of May. So this is about you focusing on something which can make you happy and success is something which always makes you happy. Okay, success is not only about um, succeeding in work life and career life. Success can be a successful relationship, successful you. Okay, so from within you are a better version of yourself. So focus on success does not only mean about money. It means how you are growing your own self. So you are focusing on your own self more. Okay, so with the five of wands, it's like there are a lot of gossiping around you in the first week. People are trying to talk about you. People are against you for some things. But when you are focused enough to tell that, to tell those people or to tell your own self that, you know, my decision is a perfect decision. I'm thinking, I'm taking time to take a decision. I do not take decisions in a hurry manner. So you are definitely working on that thing, on your own self. And you have uh, that that feeling inside you that I can do something for my own self. So this week is all about people talking behind your back or in front of you as well. Okay, so you will see or you will hear some negative thoughts or negative talks about you. You will uh, hear it from people. People will tell you that there are a lot of negativity around you. So those people who are very good to you, they will tell you that, you know, there is a lot of uh, strategizing going around uh, behind your back about you. So you all, all you need is to focus on your own self, focus on something which is important to you. Okay. These gossips and these talks are not important to you. All right. Always remember that do something different so in the second week you are definitely doing something different and that is the reason why people are really negative about you really talking about you because they are not ready to stand you you know there's always a, some kind of a jealousy when you are there people kind of get jealous because of you okay so you might even think that you know what do i have i don't have a good face or you know people think so do not need to think that I do not have a good face no everyone has a beautiful face i do not have this no okay sometimes it's something which people cannot even afford and that is the stable peace of mind okay they can afford good cars good uh, clothes good things luxurious life but people cannot afford something which we can say a calmness a patience which we have which we develop inside us People cannot afford that. People cannot buy that. And that is the problem why people are getting jealous of you. Eight of Wands, you will really hear about it more and more in the coming weeks with the Empress. You have such a beautiful, you know, aura with the Empress card. I do not see, a. I, I feel that every person is beautiful. Every person is a pretty, but there is something more than the outside 
prettiness it's what you are from inside what kind of an aura you are carrying and you are carrying a very positive and very patient aura which is actually making people very jealous see how calm she is she looks calm he looks so stable so this is how people really do not people are not ready to accept how can a person become so changed all of a sudden so the change which you have by doing something different or by your own thoughts maybe your own thoughts have progressed in the past few months or years that people are not able to accept it okay be patient <clears throat> in the third week of the month see the patience is there you i think that you are more of a very uh, normal kind of a person in this month because uh, normal as in uh, everyone is normal but uh, i mean normal as in that you know things are going on around me and they doesn't bother me i'm not getting bothered by problems around me i only want to focus on my own self so this is you in this month you are focusing on your own self only in your needs and uh, what you want in your life or what you want for your family for your friends people who you really love what do you want for them so this is more about manifesting as well you could be manifesting you could be praying a lot this month uh, nine of wands with the four of wands see being so tired being so afraid at some point of time you're not letting those people inside your aura or around you who who do not deserve to be there for you who do not deserve to be with you okay so this is um, that energy sagittarius which you are carrying there are a lot of celebrations you might be going on uh, weddings or some other get togethers but you are not letting anyone enter into your space okay you will meet people old people new people but you are not interested in those people being so you know they are more talky talkative kind of people gossiping kind of people but it's like been there done that kind of a thing sagittarius you are into be open to love wow i love the fourth energy fourth uh, fourth week of the month it's like you are becoming very opening you know you are you know where i need to to uh, create my space you know that very well but at the same time if a person or if somebody is offering you love love does not mean only in one way love means appreciation love means affection showing something telling a person that you look good or you like something you know anyone who really likes you likes your aura that person will automatically gets attracted towards you so that person you will understand always that yes this is somebody who really likes the way i am not by what who's a, a mother am i who's father am i or who's daughter or son am i uh, they are not talking about me from to me for my money or something else they are talking to me because of the way i am because the way i feel about myself and they feel that you know a kind of inspiration sagittarius that is what i'm talking about people get inspired you have that kind of an aura the wheel of fortune is there in the fourth fourth week of the month let me clarify why the wheel of fortune is here i see travel as well with the strength energy you could be again this is strong uh, well this is a strong leo energy but still it's more about fire passion energy passionate energy which is coming up in this uh, in the end of the week so this is more about you are calming you you know how to calm your own lions you know people say calming your dragons so this is like calming your lions so how to make peace with your own problems like how to make things how to make balance inside your own self so this is what you are learning in this month it is all about you are showing you are not showing people that you are the impatient one because you are not actually you are not you are the most patient one in the group okay you are although you are a sagittarius it's really hard to say but somehow you have developed some kind of um, energy we can say or something you have developed inside you and that is very very good for you okay let me check one more card for you for the overall energy of the week, of the month just one card let's see what is the overall energy of the month for my sagittarius 
nurture yourself first and this is your you are doing already okay so this is a confirmation card for you nurturing yourself first so i think you better understand this card there is no need to explain this card for you with the king of cups and i feel that somebody is wow with the lovers there is a you know there's a saying if we love ourselves we if we love ourselves first if you if you love yourself first the people will love you as well so you're finding a person also who is loving you the way you are loving yourself i told you in the reading that people get attracted towards you by seeing the aura by seeing the perfection the stability the calmness inside you people see that and people feel that so they directly gets attracted get attracted towards you and this is what is the meaning of those energies which i told you if you love yourself first you know people will directly automatically come towards you there will be no need of finding people or attracting people by doing something no it will be automatic all right so that is all from my side my dear sagittarius i hope that helps and we will meet you in the next video till then bye